That's the way we just came. That's where we just were. Kim, that snail shell is right down there. What's going on? I don't know. It's not here. Oh. That's okay. Where's the snail shell? That white thing is the snail it shell. It must have taken a while to crawl in here. I must have found <laughs> another way in somewhere. Or something brought it in. Yeah. Interesting. Good question. I don't know how it, like, you would think it would hurt for it to crawl in this lava, too. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, it's pretty wet in here, so maybe that acted as a sort of lubricant or something. Yeah. For all we know, it came in here to get out of the freezing weather. I wonder what snails do in the winter. Uh, Die. <laughs> I'm curious why the bones are brown. Aren't the bones usually white? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Interesting. They're defective. It died. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, time for me to put on my gloves. Light. Yeah. I can turn it down if you want. No, it's fine. It's actually 25% right now. It's, it's oh, a 100 watt light, so basically 25% means I'm literally 25 watts right now. Uh -huh. But the thing is, it overheats. So if you um, leave yeah. it on 100%, uh -huh. after half an hour, it shuts itself off. Uh -huh. I want it to last, and this cave's not really that big. So I'm leaving it at 25%. Hopefully, it'll stay on. Yeah. What sucks, this is kind of a decent light, but. um. The batteries are expensive. It's like another battery is like another hundred dollars. So I can't really yeah. justify buying a whole handful of batteries for this. Like I can't GoPro batteries that are ten dollars each. <laughs> yeah. Especially since it's not that ergonomic either. I like the handheld flashlights that are round. Those are really mm -hmm. convenient for me. What's kind of neat about this one too, I don't use it much, but some people do, is uh, it's got an adjustable white balance too. So oh, I can yeah, make it like, yeah. yeah. My, my LED panel has that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw your panel, it's kind of nice. I have a couple of those too, but the batteries have kind of gone bad. They're like glitchy. Okay. This one has a removable battery and it's brighter, so it's a little, it's kind of nice. If it was this one, yeah. So it's cheaper, I would endorse it, but I, like I said, it's kind of expensive. So, <laughs> so you're doing a GoPro video? Sorry, what was that? Are you doing a GoPro video? Yeah. 
I've never gotten a GoPro, but I'm, I've thought about it. For low light, they're not that good, but outside on a sunny day, they're pretty nice. Yeah. But for, you definitely want a, a stabilizer, either a tripod or a gimbal or something. Uh, and what about audio? Do you basically need an external mic? Uh, no, no, no. Th it depends on the model. Like I had an old 7 Black, it did not pick up sound very well at all. And some of the older GoPros that yeah, had the waterproof housing, it didn't pick up sound very well at all. But this one is the 9 Black. I think it's picking up sound pretty well. Okay. Except in time lapse. If you shoot time lapse, it won't record sound. But just regular video, yeah, it records sound. Yeah. When we get through the hard part, you don't have to wait for me. I'll, I'll catch up. Okay. I'm just trying to keep my cameras upright and stuff. My gimbal just went to sleep mode. I'll fix it when I get done crawling. I'm almost to the end of the crawl, I think. The hardest part of the crawl, anyway. Let me get the gimbal turned back on for no apparent reason. I went into sleep mode. Piece of poop. All right, here we go. 